Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? And it's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. Of course it's me. Who else is going to be? Obviously, it's me. Uh, as the title says on this video, this video is not really about Days Gone, because I already covered Days Gone. Uh, so you guys can check out those videos. You can check out the review, okay? Uh, go pick this game up. It's a great game. I'm just using Days Gone. It's something to play in the background. Uh, the point of this video is going to be about me and my channel because uh, a lot of people been asking me on hey how did you start this channel and like uh, what was the reasoning behind you doing this channel and how did you uh, gain this kind of uh, attention how did you climb up to 31,000 subscribers why there's so many people out there talking about you why there's certain people that don't like you etc 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 so what I want to focus on here it's to talk about like how I started this channel maybe this will help you guys out for some of you who are interested maybe in doing your own channel maybe in becoming a youtuber because uh, I don't think I really talked about this that much I mean I did talk about it a little bit on my live streams but I don't think I covered that like in the detail that I'm going to cover it on this video so let me give you a, a quick a quick not quick a quick I can't even talk a quick brief summary of uh, how I started this channel I went through many different bunch of names uh, when I started this account, uh, the one that I'm using that has turned into uh, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. Originally, my channel name back in uh, 2014 was called Eden's Gaming Walt. Because that's my name. It's Eden. So it's Eden's Gaming Walt. So I started doing live streams. Uh, experimenting with live streams and doing a bunch of different games those videos are still out there you can check them out and uh, by the way I'm still using the same microphone uh, I haven't upgraded this uh, Blue Yeti Blue Yeti works just fine I don't have any issues with it uh, I highly recommend the Blue Yeti Wanted a freak show. and uh, Place is cool. so I first started doing live streams. That was like my first focus to do live streams, just like you, you're seeing it right now. And uh, I started getting some attention. You know, people started watching me, and they uh, started getting interested in me. Uh, so I was just experimenting. You know, when I started doing live streams back in 2014, uh, I just needed something. You know, I needed like a hobby, something to. Uh, get my mind off of stuff that I was going through at the time it's personal stuff it's it's something that I'm not going to talk about uh, on here because it's something that it doesn't concern you guys it, it only concerns me and it's private so I don't want to talk about it but it was something that I was going through at that time so the YouTube platform was like this escape was the escape for me to get my mindset focused on something else other than what I was going through okay so my main focus was to focus on the YouTube and focus on live streaming um, so I started doing live streams I started doing a bunch of different uh, live streams I think one of my most successful live streams that I did was that game back in 2015 that's called uh, Till Dawn or was it Till Dawn I think something like that Till Dawn where all these kids they go back to uh, this uh, I forget what the story was. I just know it was like a survival horror uh, called Until Dawn. Until Dawn. I'm sorry. So if you guys 
ever play the Until Dawn. Uh, they got a bunch of uh, motion capture actors in it. Uh, it's, it's a really cool experience survival horror game, kind of like Heavy Rain, where you have to choose who lives, who dies. Uh, Until Dawn, yet another exclusive PlayStation game. So, uh, if you guys never played Until Dawn, I highly suggest that you play it. Until Dawn, that was my like the most successful live stream that I did for nine and a half hours. And from there, I started picking up uh, more and more subscribers. I think I reached like 300 subscribers. Uh, and then later on, I started picking up some more. And then in uh, September, in August of 2015, in August of 2015, uh, I bought a Xbox One S. Uh, because I was really in market for a new television. I bought 4K Vizio. M55C2 that was my uh, television that I bought back in uh, 2015 that was my first 4k television I didn't even have HDR it was just a stripped down no HDR Vizio M55C2 which I still have works fine it was a full array of LEDs uh, it had a, a decent local dimming uh, it, you know it didn't have the best local dimming but it was uh, my first 4K television, uh, and uh, that's when I started getting interested in the 4K, and I started getting interested in uh, upscaling and HDR, even though my television didn't have HDR, but still the upscaling from the Xbox One S was way better than what I would have with the Xbox One, original one. So when I started doing uh, the unboxing of the Madden, uh, 2016 bundle that was bundled with the uh, the Xbox One S. From there, my channel took off. Uh, it was like thousands of views, uh, ten thousand, twenty thousand. Within a week, I was getting like hundred, hundred uh, and twenty thousand views. Now, some of these videos are five hundred thousand views, half a million, quarter of a million, uh, and that's pretty much where it took off honestly uh, and then from there as you all know I had uh, all this this entire fight that I had with the hard eight times uh, you know I had to go through all that nonsense with him and then he kind of really not even knowing it he helped me get the views and the attention as well and the rest is history I mean if you guys uh, been following me since 2015 you pretty much know uh, what happen after that so um, I never what I'm trying to say here is that I never planned anything I never had any plans where I was like okay this is what I'm gonna do point A point B if the the, the A fails we're gonna go with the point B like I didn't have any like a strategy as to where I wanna go with this channel and what I want to do with this channel I didn't have any kind of like strategical uh, maneuvers as to what I want to do with the channel it's just that the 4k at the time when I was doing the 4k people were still using 1080p they were still watching 1080p there there wasn't really enough of a, of a 4k content for people to justify to buy a 4k television uh, even though they they were releasing the the first generation 4K player by Samsung and they were releasing uh, some 4K movies like The Martian, uh, the X Men, uh, and a uh, bunch of others. There were some other movies from 20th Century Fox and The Mad Max, Warner Brothers, Fury. So. Um, that's where pretty much started for me and when I was doing the 4k when I was doing the the 4k reviews and and taking out my camera to to show the 4k television to show the upscale on how the Xbox one s uh, games like Grand Theft Auto Madden how they look on the upscaled 4k television with this uh, upscaling chip that's built inside a uh, Xbox One S 
that's where it all kind of started picking up because people were still using 1080p you know they you know they really didn't care much about the 4k uh, because the the original Xbox one was barely doing a 720p barely doing a 900p so uh, when the Xbox one s was released it was pretty successful and no one was doing what I was doing you know uh, people did talk about 4k a little bit but nobody was like whipping out the cameras and, and, and showing you the television talking about the television talking about a 4k and I think that's where I picked up uh, I just happened to be doing it at the right time at the right place and that that's where it picked up and, and from their point on the rest is history now uh, like I said my channel channel originally was called Eden's Gaming Walt uh, and after I started doing the 4K videos, I changed my channel to a 4K upscaler because I had a 4K TV and I was upscaling, you know, I wasn't quote unquote personally upscaling these games, but the television was upscaling it and the console was upscaling it as well. And therefore I got the nickname upscaler. So Mr. 4K upscaler. So that's where the, the whole upscaler thing came about, all right. And the reason I'm telling you this, because I want you guys to know that um, I didn't have any plans on, like, this channel. Like, I wasn't planning on anything. It just, it happened. It just happened to be. I was doing it at the right time, at the right, uh, right, it was just, I was just doing it at the right time. Uh, I was at the peak of the 4K revolution. Okay, this is where the 4K really started picking up slowly. It was that, that wave that, that was coming, slowly but surely. And it did. In 2015, you know, they were talking about the uh, Xbox One S, and capabilities of 4K, uh, the HDR, and after that, obviously, we had PlayStation 4 Pro that was released in 2016. And with the PlayStation 4 Pro, it really took off big time. And that's when I got my Samsung KS8000. And my Samsung KS8000 replaced my Vizio M55C2. So, um, this whole thing just happened to be me doing it at the right time I was just doing it the right time I was at the right time at the peak of the 4k revolution the beginning of the whole 4k thing and the rest is history you know but you know a lot of people have this misconception about me where they think that I'm some kind of like a professional like uh, I went to the ITT tech school even though I went through a video production and I did study a uh, video production but you have to remember when I went to a video production school uh, it was a different technology back then they were still using VCR they were still using a camcorders with the VCR they were going lousy uh, you know 480p resolution 5 uh, what was it 5 540, 580, you know, they weren't really like going uh, with a high definition. There was no high definition back then. So, um, it was different back then. And, and this is the thing that kind of like some people don't understand uh, about how I started this channel. And the reason I'm making this video because I want you guys to understand how this channel started how I started this channel because there's a lot of BS out there about me a lot of misconceptions about me uh, you know I never said I was a professional it doesn't even say on my profile page that I'm a professional it clearly says on my profile page that I'm that guy that connected original PlayStation 4 2013 version through the Xbox One S and I upscaled it okay I, I clearly I, I point that out I'm that dude that means that you shouldn't take me seriously in terms of like professional 
guy who's a professional calibrator or professional tech guy but I did learn you know I learned a lot because I started getting interested in televisions I started getting interested in 4k I started learning more about the 4k yes I made some mistakes but I think if you make mistakes you learn from the mistakes and you you get better uh, it's just I had a will to learn so I learned about it and in past five years I think I gained a good amount of experience for me to know about the panels for me to know how uh, in-plane switching IPS panel works for me to know how vertical alignment VA panels works and also how twisted pneumatic panels work uh, so I learned that I gained that knowledge you know but I learned it because I want to learn it I learned it simply by going to the Google researching about what is the in-plane switching how does that work how does that implement a really good viewing angle on the monitors same thing with the vertical alignment why is the vertical alignment better than the twisted pneumatic why does the twisted pneumatic TN panel has the color shift when you're looking from left to the right how does that work you know so I, I started learning about this stuff you know learning about the different HDMI chipsets you know 2.0 and then you know 2 point one which is the the newest one that's coming out this year so you learn about the bandwidth uh, on the HDMI and how HDMI work you know high definition media interface uh, a lot of people didn't seem to well not a lot of people there's some people out there who you know just like I didn't know and I'm pretty sure there's people out there who don't know the way HDMI works it's based on the bandwidth speed that they can transfer between the device and that monitor that television okay having the gold plated HDMI is not really gonna do much except maybe isolate the noise that might be in that you know uh, receiver device transferring that data to the television but uh, all in all what makes the HDMI cable is its chipset bandwidth like you no know, if you got an ultra high speed cable and you got a 2.0 chipset which I'm sure all of you have 2.0 chipset HDMI's uh, you're gonna get a faster high speed bandwidth that's why it says high speed on 2.0 because you're getting a much higher bandwidth of data that's being transferred between this device into the monitor so that way there's no delay that way you can see everything instantly all right so you know I'm just giving one examples you know you learn about different things uh, when it came to the HDR I made some mistakes you know I, I was learning about the static metadata versus dynamic metadata and how does that work uh, you know the tone mapping of the HDR and what's the proper requirements for the HDR also I learned about a peak brightness and why that that is a crucial importance for the HDR and then what passes the requirements for the high dynamic range you know there's uh, I think two main ingredients that you have to look for this is from all the research that I have find out the two key important ingredients for the HDR is number one the peak brightness and then number two full wide color gamut now what do we mean by full wide color gamut full wide color gamut means that the measurement of the color space the spectrum of colors that your panel it's representing it's gonna be uh, qualified based on the measurement of your color space based on the measurement of your color spectrum the more colors you have then the better it is going to be for your color gamut that's why they call it wider color gamut due to the spectrum of colors some panels they don't have enough uh, spectrum of colors 
to qualify for full white collar gamut. Quantum televisions they do because of technology that's built inside behind that LCD panel. You're getting a wider color gamut. And the color gamut is measured by DCIP3 that measures the color accuracy and how many how many colors, how many millions and billions of colors can you actually output onto your panel. So, you know, these are the requirements necessary for the HDR to look the best, you know. Uh, and when you have the peak brightness, when you have the color gamut, this is where the KSA 1000 uh, was highly recommended as an HDR television. And this is why the QLED, it's being recommended for the HDR due to the color gamut and due to the, uh, the peak brightness, okay. But, however, you know, there's some other issues that uh, the LCD, LED backlit televisions have. They don't have the best viewing angle. Some of them, they have the vertical bending issues. Uh, not that I have experienced that kind of issue and problem myself, but, you know, the whole point here that I'm trying to tell you is, uh, you know, I'm not a professional, but I, but I do my research. You know, I research things. I go online, I read about it, I go straight to the source, I try to understand how something works, I try to understand how the tone mapping is being implemented properly, uh, and what, what kind of uh, software are they using to measure the tone mapping, for example, on this game, or any other game, or any other movie. You know, you learn about this stuff. You know, if you want to learn something, you just learn it, you know. But my, my whole point of my channel, it's not really to educate you, it's not really for me to, to preach to you and educate you. Uh, that's Vincent Tio. If you want to get educated, if you want to learn uh, about all the technical jogger, you know, you can go to the Vincent Tio. You can go to others out there who are professionals who are going to teach you. Or you can just learn it yourself, which I honestly believe is the best way to do it, is to learn it yourself. But my, my whole point here is, I, you know, my channel is not about the education. I'm not here to educate you about the televisions. I'm not here to tell you what's the best, what's the worst. Uh, my whole point is to give you a unbiased uh, consumer point of view of the televisions and the video games and every other product that I have, you know. I'm more of like a tech, geek, gamer. It's a mixture of everything. You know, I'm not just strictly televisions. Uh, and this is another misconception that people have. I'm not just strictly televisions. You know, a lot of people think that I'm just a television, television. Uh, no, I'm not just strictly televisions. Uh, I do do videos on the televisions when I feel the need that I have to do them. If I have a reason to do something on the television, if I have a reason to test something, I will test it. But if I don't have a reason to test something, if I don't have a reason to uh, do a video about certain televisions or to test something on it, I will not bother. You know. Um, now, for those of you who have been following me all these uh, all these years, you pretty much have an idea of what I am about. Uh, and I think this video, it's mainly for the new subscribers, for the subscribers out there who really don't um, have a bigger picture on what I'm all about. And I know that this can be confusing. You know, you, the first time you, you're coming to my channel, uh, you don't know. You have all kinds of different uh, judgments and, 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 and ideas and thoughts and, and doubts. That's fine, you know. Uh, you you have every right to to have doubts. You have every right to to uh, have second thoughts and, and judgment uh, that you're right to have that but this video I think will give you some better idea on who I really am and what my channel is really about my channel is about it's like a home box office it's really a variety of different things it's just a dude, a guy, like a big Lebowski. I'm just a dude. Just a dude uh, that doesn't want people to piss on his carpet, pretty much. 
and uh, I'm just a dude that likes to bring some entertainment, a little bit of comedy. Uh, on this video, I'm being serious because I am serious most of the time, but I do bring the comedy when it's necessary. I do like to inject some uh, one-liners. I do bring different variety of things, and I'm also a truth seeker. You know, I'm somebody who also likes to uh, avoid the BS, avoid avoid the unnecessary uh, BS out there, BS meeting bullshit, and I like the truth. You know, I'm not interested in people pretending that they're something they're not. Uh, you know, I, I'm not interested in that. I don't like uh, those kinds of YouTubers. I don't like the YouTubers who are pretending that they're the best and then and, and forget the rest like their shit doesn't stink. I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in someone being pretentious. Uh, I'm interested in people who are just themselves. They're respectful. Uh, they respect everyone else's work and transparency remember if transparency means two-way street not a one-way street it means two-way street okay meaning that if you want to earn respect then you gotta respect others if you give others respect you will gain the respect back if you don't give others respect, you will not gain the respect. It's a two-way street, you know. And, I mean, this is like a basic, basic... Uh, it's, a, it's a basic thing that everyone should know in terms of life, you know. And uh, let me see what time we got here. It's like 27 minutes. Um, I really hope that... Uh, that this video because I'm, tr I'm trying to be like as as you as you see I'm, I'm you know this is me I'm not making any jokes I'm, I'm not I'm avoiding to use any kind of language or I'm not putting on an act I'm not like yelling or I have a different tone of voice now because I'm being me I'm being just straight up with you and letting you know the truth uh, my goal was never to compete with anyone this is another thing that kind of it's being put out there a lot of people think that I'm in competition with with other people I'm not in competition with anyone I'm not even in competition with myself uh, if I was in competition you would know about it I mean I would let you know you would you it would you would like you would know it would be obvious if I was in competition I'm not in competition uh, I never ask anyone to subscribe you know you don't see a button where it says join you don't see hey click here click there subscribe follow share you never see any of that stuff you don't see any intro logos uh, mr. 4k upscaler sure I have a little uh, right over here I got the uh, right there on the on the uh, the right corner I have the uh, mr. 4k upscaler logo that's just in case somebody takes this video and wants to uh, put it on their channel that way they will know it's me mr. 4k upscaler uh, and they will know that the person who is using this video uh, it's somebody who's stealing my videos but I don't care if people want to use my videos that's fine uh, that's just free advertisement for me you know especially if some guy in India who has half a million subscribers or, or 1.2 million subscribers and he's using my videos dude knock yourself out that's fine by me that's a free uh, advertisement free publicity people will know that you are not the person who is actually publishing the video the person who's publishing the video it's mr. 4k upscaler and they're gonna look for me they're gonna type my name and go to my channel so you basically are bringing me traffic at the same time um, so I don't ask anyone to subscribe to me I don't ask anyone to you know uh, follow me or uh, listen it's a free will uh, the way I started this channel was really a, a free will either a you like what I do or you don't either a you like me or you don't and that's okay I don't expect everyone to like me you know I, I didn't start this channel to to be likable to to have everyone like me to hold hands and, and, and sing kumbaya 
All right, that's another misconception. I'm not hungry for the attention. I'm not hungry for the celebrity status. I'm not hungry for that. That's not my intent, okay? There's people out there who are hungry for that, who are hungry for that attention, and who want that, but that's not me. That was never my uh, intent. Like I told you, this was a, almost like a, an experiment, something I needed to do to ease my mind off of the stuff that I was going through back in 2014, 2015. And I really needed to find some kind of a hobby, something to ease my mind off of what I was going through. So the YouTube platform happened to be that. And now you know why you're watching this ugly mug. <laughs> and I'm also doing this video to clarify a lot of misconception out there that people have about me. You know, uh, there's a lot of lies. There's a lot of BS out there. People trying to make me look bad. Uh, it's simply because of jealousy. Uh, they're just simply jealous that this guy doesn't even edit his video, doesn't even put any logos on it. Uh, it's able to achieve 31,000 subscribers, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, all kinds of different lies you, you're going to hear out there from these individuals. And these individuals, obviously, uh, they don't know me. They don't know who I am. You know, they don't know my life. They don't know my past. They don't know nothing about me, but they're going to talk about me as if uh, they grew up with me, as if they were holding hands with me, as if they played football with me. They're going to talk about me as if they know me my entire life, okay? So uh, those individuals you need to avoid, those individuals are really just uh, jealous individuals. Uh, they want the attention, and if you buy into their hook, line, and sinker, then you're helping you helping them get the attention. I don't even bother mentioning them. I don't even bother talking about them because uh, it's not worth my time. You know, it's not worth my time. I have other things that I need to focus myself on, on what I want to do with this channel. And people who want to stay on my channel, you're free to stay. If you don't want to stay, you're free to, I mean, you're free to do whatever you want to do. It's a free will, man. It's a free country, you know. I'm not forcing anybody to, to subscribe to me. I don't force anybody to like me. Uh, you're always welcome to come back. If you don't like me, if you want to take a break from me, maybe you're tired of me, that's fine by me. You can come back whenever you feel like you're ready to come back. Uh, I don't force anyone to do anything. you know. And I think that's another misconception that people don't understand about me is that there's not a single video that I have made in past, uh, what is it, uh, four and a half, let's just say five years, circle of the five years, there's not a single video where I have made where I said, oh, uh, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell button, make sure you follow me, make sure that you, know, you, you donate to me, make sure you become my Patreon, make sure you do this, make sure you do that, make sure you donate on my live streams, none of that stuff. I have never done. Why? Because my intent, my intention was never to become a YouTube celebrity. A YouTube celebrity. Sure, I make some money here and there. Why not? While I'm doing this, might as well profit some money here and there. And I don't hide the fact that I get some money from the YouTube, from the partners. I get some kickbacks. But it's nothing big. It's nothing what you guys are thinking. Okay. I'm not asking any of you to pay for me. This is free. I mean, you, ha you do have to pay for the internet. But this is free. What you're watching right now, it's free. You, you don't have to... Um, you don't have to pay for it. You know. And another thing I try to do on my YouTube channel is to interact with my... Uh, subscribers I feel that's the that's the important part you know, you know I, I really thought about this like in, in 2016 I said okay if I'm gonna do this if I'm gonna focus myself on this channel and, and try to to move on with this channel and all this fan base and following that I have I felt like 
I really need to be the opposite and not copy and stereotype other YouTubers. I don't want to be that person that has a, a 20 second logo with some techno music or whatever music out there for 20 seconds and I don't want to be that guy that says click here click there and I don't want to be one of those guys that constantly is reminding you why you need to subscribe I don't want to be pushy I don't want to be that that type of a person to me that's offsetting I don't like to force people to do what they don't want to do forcing people to do something they don't want to do it's not how you should run your business it's a free will if somebody like you they will like you don't worry about it if they don't like you they will not want you they will not want they will not watch you nor will they will want to watch you and that's what I wanted to do on my channel I felt like interact with you with, with number one don't ask people to subscribe don't ask people to donate don't ask people for anything just interact with them respect them uh, and if they respect you well you respect them back if people are being too pushy if they're being you know bunch of uh, dicks and assholes then you have every right to block them why because they're being rude you know and there's a reason why these individuals were blocked because they were being rude you know like hey dude you know my life it's my life why are you so concerned about my life it's my life it's none of your business no one tells me what to do okay I'm an adult okay grown-ass man I don't need anyone to tell me what to do and, and sure as hell I don't need someone from the internet whom I don't know to tell me what I should do and how I should live my life as if you know what my life is in 40 years right and this is what I wanted to bring on YouTube I really wanted to bring a fresh new perspective of honesty and and just interacting with people and I and I felt that that was something that was missing on YouTube I see all these other youtubers and they don't really interact with you they barely ever reply to you the only time they're gonna hit the heart to like a comment is if it's something that fits their narrative you're the best channel blah 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 you know I love you you're the greatest channel ever people should subscribe to you they should also donate to you of course that person will pin that and that person will hit the like for that because that's a free advertisement because uh, you're kind of kissing him kissing his ass trying to appease to him I like to interact with people I like to, this to be like a social experiment where we're interacting with each other we're talking about many different things you know and that's why I do these live streams and I think that's the reason you guys come to me it's because of my personality it's not so much about the TV I know it's not about the TVs even though I know you guys uh, respect and appreciate some of my picture settings my opinions but I think it's mainly the reason you come to me it's mainly because of my personalities and I know that like you know I always tell people like you know I, I'm not stupid you know I do use this thing you know I'm highly intelligent and I don't mean this in a like a pretentious kind of a way uh, I use a lot I use this thing a lot okay believe it or not I do use it so I know that you guys come to me because of my personalities the fact that I can do some of these voiceovers the fact that I can bring comedy bring cool positive energy cool positive vibes you guys love that stuff and I know that's why you guys come to my channel all right it's been already 40 minutes man it's already been 40 minutes uh, like I said um, I felt that this video it's something that I needed to kind of get off my chest and let my new subscribers know what I'm all about I know it's a long video but I think if you sit through this 40 minutes I think this 40 minutes will give you some idea on how I started my channel and it will clarify all the BS out there that 
you probably run into bump in bump into from some other you know individuals out there who don't like me simply because of the fact that they're just jealous you know they're jealous that they can't achieve what I have achieved and but what they don't understand is this was never a competition achievement for me even if I had uh, 1200 subscribers I would still be talking to you like this I would still be interacting with my 1200 subscribers it was never about that number it was never about me reaching that number it was never about that goal and individuals who think that I was trying to buy subscribers if I was really after buying subscribers don't you think I would do what those guys in Russia do what those guys in India do what those guys in China do in Europe and other countries don't you think I would have hit 150,000 subscribers why do you think I would only stay at 31,000 don't you think I would have hit 150 why not even 1.2 million if that's what I wanted to do you know so anyway I know this is a long video and I apologize but I think this video will shed some light on my channel and uh, what I'm really about remember um, it's a free will you know I always tell people it's a free will I don't expect everyone to like me okay either you like what I do or you don't and if you don't like what I do that's fine man that is fine it's, it's a big world it's a it's a big big world out there I'm sure you're gonna find someone who's gonna appease to you okay everyone has their audience every single individual has their own audience and I know that as well you know I don't expect everyone to appease to me you know well there you have it some truth and honesty I know it's 42 what 43 minutes uh, this video is in 4k uh, days gone look man it's, it's a great game uh, you need to pick it up don't listen to the IG in a game spot I mean it's it's they're irrelevant honestly uh, they're saying that this character right here that's played by uh, Sam, uh, Sam Whitwer. They're basically saying that uh, Deacon St. John has no character, that he's some kind of a mindless robot. Don't listen to that nonsense, guys. There's plenty of heart, plenty of character in this game. This game is big. It is huge. There's so much in it, man. It's going to take you a long time to finish it. Even longer than Red Dead Redemption 2. There, I just said it. It will take you even longer then Red Dead Redemption 2. But it's okay game. It's a mediocre game, right? Alright, well guys, thank you for sticking around. I, I apologize for this video being a long video, but I can't tell you everything in just 5-10 minutes. I don't like reading the script. I don't like editing. I don't like reading a teleprompter. I just want you to hear it from here. From here, and then from here. To you that's it all right guys thank you for watching and uh, we might have a live stream today how about that I think we might have a live stream today I don't know what I'm gonna be playing but maybe just maybe Mortal Kombat maybe Mortal Kombat 11 we'll see but there will definitely be a live stream today in the in the afternoon late afternoon all right guys so I'll catch you later take care